you can add a countdown timer like this to your next meeting. In this video, you will learn how to create this meeting timer and how to show it in any video conferencing software like Zoom, Teams, or Google Meet. My name is Marcus Seppela, and on this channel, I help you engage better with your audience. In the first half of the video, we're going to create this scene that has the camera and the timer next to each other. In the second half of the video, we're going to add a second scene that has the timer full screen, and then I'm going to show you how you can quickly switch between them. You can use this countdown timer, for example, to show when the break is over as a workout timer or to indicate to your speakers how much time they have left. Today, we're going to be using OBS Studio, which is a free and open source video production studio. You can download it with a link below. I also have links to my free video conferencing checklist and to my OBS mini course, which is going to teach you how to share slides like this. Let's jump into OBS Studio now, and we're going to get this timer set up. Here we are inside of OBS Studio. When you first install it, you're just going to have this black canvas. Let's add our webcam to make it a little bit more personal. I'm going to click on the plus button here in the sources section, and then I'm going to pick video capture device. And as soon as I do, I get this dialog box. I can just click OK there. This will give me a list of all the uh, installed webcams that I have. Mine is called the EOS Webcam Utility. So I'm just going to pick it from the list and click OK. Now, it's not going to fill my whole screen. I can easily resize it by dragging here. But the easiest way to resize your camera is just to press Control F on your keyboard. So now the camera is full screen. I want to have it a little bit here to the right side of the image like so. And then on the left, left hand side here, I want to have a background and the timer. Let's start with the background. I'm going to go down to my sources section, click on plus, and then I'm going to add a color source. So it's just going to be a, a color slate, basically. Once again, click OK there. And I'm going to pick my color. So I'm going to choose this forest biome, my brand color right there. And here it's going to ask me what size do I want to make this. I want to have a square block for my background here. So I'm going to change the width here to 1080 so that it's 1080 by 1080 and click OK. So now I have this perfect square on the left side of my screen. That's going to be the background for my, uh, for my timer. I'm actually going to lock the background by clicking the little lock icon there so that it cannot be moved accidentally. Now let's add the text that we're going to be using for our timer, for our countdown. There's actually two text blocks that I'm going to add, and I'm going to show you a little bit later why I'm adding two text blocks is to illustrate a point with the script. So let's add the first text block. I'm going to click plus down here again and then click on text. And I'm going to call this the title. So that's going to be our title block. The text that I actually want to enter here is going to be, um, I'm going to put it here in the text box, and I'm going to call it starting in. For the uh, text style, I'm going to select the font here. And I usually use 20th century MT. I'm going to make it bold, and then I'm going to click OK. So now I have my beautiful starting in text. I'm going to click OK, and I have it here on the left side. Let's move it down a little bit like so. And then the actual timer text we're going to put down here below it. So once again, I'm going to go into the sources section and pick to add a new text. And this one I'm going to call timer timer. Once again, I get the same choices. I'm going to once again pick the same same font there, 20th century MT bold. And I can enter some text here. I'm, I'm just going to type in timer. Uh, text here, but it doesn't actually matter what you write here because this text is going to be replaced by the numbers with the script that we're going to install in a few moments. So this is going to be our timer text. And let's say that I want to have that down here like so. I'm also going to lock both of those text boxes so that I don't accidentally move them around. The camera is looking good, uh, but I want to move it just a little bit to the right. There we go. And then I'm going to lock that camera as well. So this is the basis uh, for our design. Now let's convert this timer text into numbers. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the scripts in OBS. 
So let's go up to the Tools menu in OBS Studio and click on Scripts. And this is going to show you the list of all the scripts that you have installed. In the default installation, there's nothing active. So I'm going to add my countdown timer script by clicking the little plus button here. And as soon as I click the plus button, it's going to take me to my OBS installation folder, and I'm going to pick the countdown uh, timer script right there and click open. And as soon as I have installed the script, the options for my timer are going to be uh, on this side. The default here, as you can see, is five. I'm going to change it to 10 minutes instead. The next thing we have to change here is to tell the script which of those two text elements that we created are we going to use as our timer. And if I click this little drop down here, it's going to give me the two text boxes that I have on there. So I'm going to pick the timer text box as the one that we're going to be converting into numbers. Sometimes when you add a text box, it may not immediately show up in the scripts dialog box. The easiest solution I found was just to restart OBS if this happens. You don't even have to save because OBS Studio saves everything automatically all the time. And then we have the last field down here called end text. And in here you can enter what you want the text box to read after the timer is done. So I'm just going to say now exclamation point. With these three settings done, all I have to do is click close and the timer is going to count down from the 10 minutes that we set it to. And in just a moment, we're going to bring this over to Zoom, but I want to make one small adjustment to it. At the moment, it's showing hours, minutes and seconds, but I think it's enough to show the minutes and seconds. So I'm going to crop off this first part here. And the way I'm going to do that is uh, I'm going to use the built in crop tool. But first, I need to unlock that box. And then I'm going to hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, and then I'm going to drag approximately so, so that we have a smaller box. And then I can also move it down to the left hand side so that they are approximately aligned. And then I'm going to lock it and the bounding box actually disappears. Uh, I think I can move it back a little bit more to the left so that we get a little bit of better alignment. Okay, there we go. So this is the scene that we have built in. We have our timer going here. And we're going to bring this over to uh, Zoom. By the way, if I want to reset my timer, all I have to do is hide it and unhide it. And I can do this by clicking this little eye icon next to that text block. So now it's hidden. And as soon as I unhide it, it's going to restart from 10 minutes again. So let's bring this over to Zoom. And in order to do that, we're going to use the built-in virtual camera in OBS Studio. So I'm going to click on a Start Virtual Camera right here in the bottom right corner. And then in the next clip, we're going to bring this into Zoom by choosing that virtual camera as our camera in Zoom. Here we are inside of Zoom. Let's pick the virtual camera as our camera. I'm going to click on the video options and then on video settings. Here's the list of the cameras that I have. And as soon as I click on OBS virtual camera, the scene that we created over there in OBS is going to show through. One recommendation I have is to not use this mirror my video button. It's usually ticked by default, but if I tick it, the text is going to be in the wrong direction. This only impacts what you see. It does not impact what the other participants see. But I recommend having that off. I'm going to close down the video settings window. And as soon as I activate my camera right here in Zoom, we can see that what we've created in OBS is coming through. Next, we're going to add our second scene where you have the full screen timer. If you've been getting value from the video so far, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos here every Thursday, and they're always about helping you engage better with your audience. Here we are back with our timer. Let's create a second scene where the timer is actually full screen. The easiest way to get started is to duplicate the scene that we have. So we have the list of all the scenes here on the left hand side. There's only one at the moment. So I'm going to right click on the one that we have and then click on duplicate. And I'm going to call this full screen. So now we have two identical scenes. Uh, there are some things that we won't need in the second scene, and that's the camera. And one way I can remove the camera is just to hide it like that. I could also click the minus icon here to remove it completely. But I recommend hiding it instead because then it's much easier to add it back if you make a mistake and you want to bring something back. 
The same thing for the color source, because we want to have a full screen one. This square one is not going to work, so I'm going to hide that as well. So let's do a bigger color source. I'm going to go back into my list of sources, click plus, and then I'm going to click on color source as well. And I'm going to call this full color, for example. For this one, I am going to switch. I'm going to pick that uh, green color once again. And now it's going to be a full screen, 1920 by 1080. So it's going to full, it's going to fill my whole screen. It's currently covering the timer, so I'm going to lower it with these little down arrows down here, and I'm going to lower it two steps so that it is below the timer. And after that, I'm going to lock it in place with that button there. Now we have an opportunity also to make our text a little bit bigger because we have more space. So I'm going to unlock my, the two text boxes that I have and I'm going to make them a little bit bigger like this, put them approximately there and drag that out as well and put it approximately there. Now, if I want them exactly in the center, I can go into edit, then transform and center horizontally. Same thing for this one, edit, transform and center horizontally. Now, this is now our second scene. I'm going to lock both of those so that I don't accidentally move it. And this is our second scene. And if I want to switch between the two scenes, I can just click on the first scene there and the second scene there. And you can see that the timer does not reset because it is shown in both of these scenes. But if it were to be hidden in one of them, it will actually reset. So let me go back to the full screen and I'm just going to click it, quickly hide the timer. And as soon as I bring it back, it is going to be reset to the 10 minutes. Now we have these two scenes and this is how it's going to look in Zoom. You can switch between them just by clicking the name of the scene and then you can switch back as well. As you start using OBS for video conferencing, I encourage you to experiment with the different features. I actually love sharing slides with OBS because I can quickly switch slides, but I can also switch layouts like this. So I can bring my slides full screen, go back to my webcam, and then I can bring them back as well. If you would like to copy my layout, I made it available as a digital download. Just have a look at the links in the video description or go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. If you want to learn more about OBS Studio for video conferencing, click or tap the screen right here. That's my full playlist of OBS tutorials for video conferencing using the virtual camera. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.